What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aston Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. All right, now, baby child, we all know the situation with Nicole Murphy and her sneaking some sugar from Antoine Fuqua, who just happens to be married to Layla Rashawn. Now, this happened a couple of months ago, and of course, she denied it when the pictures were released of the two kissing, not once, but twice. Okay, so today, in the year of our Lord, 2019, she was on the Wendy Williams show, and one of the things that stuck out of everybody's mind was she said that she never released a statement saying that Antoine Fuqua was a family friend. So keep that in mind. Now, anywho, I was on B. Scott's blog, minding my business being nosy, and I come across the fact that she wrote up an article calling Nicole Murphy a lying scalawag. Now, after I picked myself up off the floor, I continued to read the article, and the article read as such. It says, Nicole Murphy is a lying scalawag. She did release a statement calling Anton Fuqua a family friend, and we have the receipts exclusive. Nicole Murphy took her home wrecking self on the Wendy Williams show this morning and lied through her teeth. Now, we usually don't do this, but Nicole had the nerve to lie on us as part of her damage control campaign after she was caught kissing the very married Antoine Fuqua. After the photos went public, B. Scott personally reached out to Nicole to clarify what exactly we were seeing in the photos. Then B. Scott posts text messages between her and Nicole Murphy. Mm -mm. B. Scott says, hey my love, this is B. Scott. Let me know if I can assist in clarifying the pictures that hit the internet today. Nicole responds and says, Antoine and I are just family friends. I ran into him in Italy and we exchanged a friendly hello and that was it. And B. Scott says, thank you. Okay, so the article continues on. It says, let's back this all the way up. Back in July, after we ran Nicole's exclusive statement and various outlets picked it up, Nicole released a second statement to TMZ trying to clear things up. At no point did she deny our statement, contact us, or anything of the sort. Lisa Ray told you who Nicole was. The Brett told you who Nicole was. And now later, Rashawn is finding out the hard way. Nicole, girl, bye. Mm mm, child, let me clutch my messy boots and gather myself. Mm mm, Nicole and Antoine both need their patooties whooped. And I ain't talking about with a switch, I'm talking about with a drop card. Okay, moving on. Girl, 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 what in the world is going on with Jimmy and Chrissy in the year of our law 2019? Now, first we heard that they was returning to love and hip hop, and we know a lot of people only do that when they're on hard times. Then the second thing we heard was Takumbo69 was trying to send him up the road along with himself so he won't feel lonely. And now we're hearing on the streets that he's lost his house and it was auctioned off for a hundred dollars. That's right, I said a hundred dollars. All right now, baby child, I was on the neighborhood talk, minding my business, being nosy, and I come across the fact that Jim Jones and Chrissy have currently lost their house. It says Jim Jones and Chrissy Lampkin foreclosed on a mansion. Home is auctioned off for a hundred dollars. The article states, we fly high, no lie, you know this, foreclosure. <laughs> Neighbors, looks like Jim Jones isn't balling anymore as it has been revealed that his shared home with Chrissy Lampkin has been foreclosed and sold at an auction for $100. Anywho, it says, according to Bossop, the couple hasn't paid their mortgage since 2010. Jones bought the house back in 2006 and took out a $680,000 mortgage with a 6.875% interest rate. He agreed to make monthly payments of $4,467. Mm-mm, child, let me clutch two upstairs houses, a couple of trailers, and a shed in my small town in South Carolina and gather myself. For whatever reason, Jones decided to stop paying the bill. The bank said it reached an agreement with Jones and Lampkin to pay the debt and get the home out of foreclosure, but the deal fell through, resulting, while we're sure the couple isn't flat out broke, there has to be some logical reason why he stopped paying and decided to dip set out of there. Mm-mm, a shame and a scandal, baby child, a shame and a scandal. Now, this part of the story, I am not understanding. How does a house, I don't care if it's a she shed, auction off for $100? $100 now, y'all. $100. Child, I wish I was there. I would have did a kind of offer for $76.82 and a bag of butter beans. Mm-mm, but anywho. Girl, 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 before I can even finish the video on Jimmy, 50 Cent posts something and starts throwing shade his way, okay? He posts part of an article that claims that Jimmy is an informant. 
It says rapper Jimmy Jones is listed as a federal informant in court documents in the case against Takashi. In the original court transcripts that were previously released online, the conversation between individual Jimmy Jones is listed as cooperating with federal agents in a conversation with Jamel Jones, which would explain why Jim Jones has been able to have such a lengthy record and avoid prison time in the past. If you recall earlier this year, Jimmy dodged jail time in a booger sugar and a pew pew case and 50 cent captions the post with huh old poop so that's why they ain't pull him in say it ain't so jimmy say it ain't so mm -mm, child let me clutch my tail on anybody if it keep me from doing 50 years in the joint and gather myself moving on but while we're here being messy let's talk about miss azalea must be the loss of dog on mine must be on the booger sugar banks talking junk about miss beautiful rihanna now i don't know what crawled up her patootie or what crawled up her nose but Miss Troublemaker Banks was going off on Rihanna the other night for some reason that was only apparent to her. First, she started off by calling Rihanna fat. Then she went on to calling Rihanna a booger sugar head. Now, even though Mrs. Azalea Banks gets on my everlasting nerves, y'all know I cannot avoid the missingness. Missing, 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 missing. Y'all already know that's just the way I like it. So, baby child, just go ahead and take a look. Okay, wait. <clears throat> Now, let's unpack this, right? Not many people remember, like, the start of this, like, Azealia Banks, like, Rihanna, like, shit, right? And it actually started, like, long, long time ago. Perez Wilson got in the middle of some and then she posted this picture of me, and it was like my edges were, like, missing, right? Edges were just missing. Now, I'm sitting up there, and I'm watching this Fenty thing on Amazon. All I could look at is Rihanna's bold-ass edges. Now, in all the f time since bitch been trying to drag me out, and you know, since 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 all the time since it's been kind of like a cultural joke, just to like joke on Azealia Banks, where the f are Rihanna's edges? Where the f are them f edges? Nah, nah, all that f empty money. Mm-hmm, child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. But guess what, baby child? She still ain't finished yet. Take a look. And I'm sorry. I'm just kikiing because it's like all the time people spend trying to rag on his yellow banks and say I'm like ugly and this, that, and the third. Like, you're bald and you're fat. <laughs> you're bald headed and you're fat now, too. So let's see here. Let's see how we get out of this. Shit. Let's see how we dig their fat ass about this weight. This old woman weight. Shit. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how we both look over forty. And also, I'm sorry. It's like listen, y'all bitch. Fool me. I know that metabolism is wearing down on y'all. Oh bitch. Y'all old bitch. I'm getting fat. <laughs> now, if you are naturally inquisitive like I am myself, then you are probably wondering what in the world made Azalea Banks be so angry with Rihanna. Now, we all know she's always mad at everybody just for breathing, but it seems like she has a target on Rihanna. So, while she was making these videos, of course... I crush grooved on down in the comment section to see what everybody had to say. Okay, so one person says Azalea is still triggered by what Rihanna did to her, per her, sis needs to heal. So then somebody else asks basically what happened to them, and another person answered and says, left her sitting on the floor at 9 a.m. writing for her with a tiny bowl of peanuts while she was partying upstairs and canceled the feature. Basically saying that Rihanna had Azalea Banks in the studio writing for her to the wee hours of the morning morning didn't give her nothing to eat or any bathroom breaks allegedly while she was upstairs partying and having a good time then on top of that rihanna allegedly did not even use the stuff that she had azalea banks writing so anywho another person asks is this for real and she says yep she ran it about this a while ago about being left off auntie and another person says, and Rihanna never denied anything. There are songs she composed for her in SoundCloud. 
and YouTube. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but it seems like this story does sound a little bit familiar to me. Now, I also want to point out the fact that the more Azalea was talking trash about Rihanna, the worse she started to look during the night. Now, some people were saying that she was definitely on the booger shuttle, or either she was drunk or something else. But y'all, I really don't know. Something about her eyes and the way she was doing her mouth had me shook. Okay. No, and I'm extra fucking mad. At, like, especially the f you know, Rock Nation, they with that f tanning of America bullshit. Them niggas was trying to push through with that, like, weird biracial looking shit. And it's like, what is it worth now when Rihanna's f fat and bald? <laughs> you know, like, what was it? Like, like what, what, what was the eugenic scheme? Like, what, what was it supposed to end up in what? Huh? Like, where was it supposed to end? <laughs> like, where the f*** is it supposed to end? Like, where were y'all really trying to take this tanning of America thing? Like, no, they were trying to take this tan, like, tanning, the tanning of America, and they were trying to give... Now, I don't know if she thought her fans were going to agree with her. Now, a few of them did, but about 98% of them did not. I want y'all to peep some of the stuff that they were saying to her down in the comments. Mm-mm, child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. Now, if y'all thought those negative comments were going to stop her from ranting and going off on Rihanna, they surely did not. Again, the more she talked about Rihanna, the more she started to look crazy. And if y'all have watched any of my lives in the past, y'all know I'm really superstitious in front of the country. So I had to take me a little bit of salt and throw it at my phone screen because she was looking too crazy for me. Okay. Anyway, take a look. Like, where the f*** is it supposed to end? Like, where were y'all really trying to take this tanning of America thing? Like, no, they were trying to take this tan, like, tanning, the tanning of America. And they were trying to give Carol's daughters mixed chicks. They trying to give all the colors of the puss. They trying to give it to everybody but the f*** black girl. But we're always still the f last one standing. Still looking the best. Butts are like going in and out of style, like getting fat and dehydrated, and we're like giving them these like like weird like you know what I mean? Crowns for what? <laughs> like these bitches, no, these they now they want to be your friend, now they want to be fat and like they want to be fat buddies. Mm -hmm. Which y'all know I'm in my business and I'm gonna do just that. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about these situations down in the comments. Who's right and who's wrong? Now, baby child, I can be honest. I don't know who's right and who's wrong in these situations. But what I can tell you is, is that I'm here for the messiness. The messier, the better. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Moving on. Well, I'm definitely gonna need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get to other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent, I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.